afternoon everybody this is Nel Karoko again and while I am watching this lovely webinar from Dial Team go and watch this one it's amazing I received a comment from one of my friends in YouTube and that is from Mr. Mahmoud Kamal okay he said uh, first I would like to say thank you for your effort and patience for sharing your knowledge may I ask I watch most of your sports lighting design, but what I really confused is the rotation and angle. What C0, C90, Cmax, G0, G90, Gmax really mean and what its relation to the angle? Okay, Mahmoud, I can really imagine what you're feeling right now because of this confusion with this angle of the photometric. Okay, but don't worry, I can explain it very briefly because you're disturbing me with my watching of YouTube video. Okay, so let's go and open this. So I have here now my Dialux Red, the regular one. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, for example, insert a calculation sports grid. And let's say I will have, I don't know, maybe um, basketball field. Okay, let's go and try this one. And then I will try to insert one fitting, which, uh, say for example, like whatever is here now. So what I'm going to do is I will insert it and I will say, mm, yeah, one piece for now. And I will add or edit this um, location of the pole, something like here. And I'll say insert. And then I will adjust it there. Maybe I will need to, but the most important one is this one. Okay, so look at this one. You can see that when I adjust my aiming point here and there, the yellow one will also follow. Okay, to, to open this one, just click on this photometric distribution display curve here. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, so you can see that every time I move or aim my floodlights anywhere, it follows, the yellow follows. And when you, when you go to the elevation view, it will also show to some extent that it also follows like, like this one. So wherever the red comes, it also follows the red line. So that um, G max, C max is correct. Okay, let's go and check in here in the rotation here. So I have this rotation as C90 and G I max. So it's correct. Look what will happen if I change it into C0. Okay. Go to the elevation view. It looks it's the same, but the ori orientation of the fitting becomes horizontal. Let's go back. This is the original, and this is the, the changes when I change it into Z0. Okay, sometimes the luminar floodlight is like this. So this is also correct. You maybe use this one as correct. Or let's go and change it into G90. What will happen? Boom. Okay, look at this one. So I changed it into G90 and maybe G0. Okay, G0 is fine. But when I changed it into G90, so whenever I change the direction of my aiming, it goes to the opposite and it's wrong. Okay, so what uh, the rule of thumb is whenever you use a floodlight, because the, sometimes the photometric file is really wrong. Okay, so you need to adjust it according to the orientation of the floodlight aiming. Okay, sometimes you will receive a photometric file like this. So, and you are so frustrated that every time you aim it, it's not giving you the correct uh, lumen output. Okay, let's go and check it here in this uh, report. So I will turn on the display calculation now. So the values now is, look at this, it's only uh, 6.24 lux. You can see here it's, and, and you are so, so, so confused why every time you aim it it's not really working and uh, yeah when you turn on this uh, light distribution curve now you discover that it's going to the other side so how are you going to fix it is just make it either gi max so it will be correct so when you corrected it see now it's 400 430 lux so this one is correct okay so mamo just look at the figure or look at the the light distribution curve and also the luminaire orientation. So you will have the correct orientation of photometric files in your luminaire. It always happens in IES file. I noticed this one, if you have IES file, there are some errors like this one. 
and uh, the the way you check it is really go and check this aiming point or the uh, rotation of the luminaire point okay so let's go and change the ci max what will happen okay it doesn't seem to be not so much okay it's okay so ci max is also okay so c90 this is the one the original one and if i go to the ci max it's similar to the c0 yeah the g90 is the worst one okay all right so now you understand so the, the correct one is c uh c90 and g i max the default one but i know the orientation of the luminaire should be c0 because it's a rectangular uh, floodlight okay so there you go now you know here in dialax regular how you will do it if in case you're going to use um AGI 32. I will show you that it also happens in AGI 32. So for example, I'm going to open uh, one, uh, maybe a um, tennis court. Okay, so I'm going to say flat and then say, okay, now I have my tennis court and I'm going to use my calculation surface here. And I'll say, yeah, tennis, and then say, okay, let's make this one as five by five grid, then okay and there you go now this is my calculation grid and then if i oh, this is crazy it's so small let's make it two by two yes and if i want to insert the luminaire so i'm just going to check my fittings here so i have two fittings uh, both are asymmetric floodlight and if you can see here in this photometric diagram you can see that this one is aiming towards up and this one is the other one is uh, similar orientation with the blue one okay all right let me just try this uh, this one all right let's try this one this is the correct one actually okay let's go and try this one I'm going to rotate and orient so let's say oh let's have a symmetric here okay I'm going to make a parametric mirror also like in dialax regular there you go so i'm going to insert now so i will do the locate and orient let's just imagine this is my pole here and what i'm going to do is i will just orient it there i'm sure okay i'll i put a 10 meter height pole here so this is a 10 meter height and then this is an automatic calculation see now it's uh 265 um lax average so you think it's correct right okay because this is ah okay i used the correct one okay and let's just delete this one and change it with this uh the wrong one the, the wrong orientation so i'll go hit click it and then change it with the wrong one say okay yeah okay now you can see that the the highest lux value is now on this side let's see what why it's like that so let's open this um photometric uh, value i go to the setting and turn it on and then okay and then click on the luminaire yeah okay now you can see because uh because the orientation of why it's too big let me just check okay let's just use one more here a little far from this because it's yeah you can see now when I orient it towards 90 degrees, now I'm pointing on the 90 degrees now. I pointed it 90 degrees, but it is showing like in the horse in the 180 or 0 degrees. Okay? Because uh, the orientation of the photo, the IS file is wrong. So how are you going to fix this? Okay, let's, let's do it again. I'm going to locate and orient. Okay, and then I will, you can see my second point of the cursor is on the top. It should be pointing towards up. And because the photometric file is wrong, that's why it becomes like this. So how are you going to correct it? Is just go to the define again, click this uh, IS file, and then click here in this rotate photometry in 90 degrees. You can see it's changed now into, 90 de uh, into zero degrees. And we say, okay. Now it's loading, calculating again. Now it's in correct orientation now, okay? So 
<laughs> Mamot, I know it's a little bit confusing now. So, but don't worry, it's not you. It's the photometric file that you receive, which is wrong. So don't worry about it. You just need to find out, turn on the photometric value, and make sure that it is oriented according to the aiming point, like this one. So every time you move it, it should follow, okay? Like this. All right, so let's try and open it in Dialux Evo. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I have here the photometric file of Dialux. You can actually see it also in Dialux Evo. So when you click on the floodlight and you go to this aiming point, you get and aim it somewhere here. And you can see here align to IMAX variance. So if I say click, so now it's become going to the other side. And then click and then click. Okay, so which one is the correct, you might be thinking. So just go for the default, which is G0 and uh, C0 and G0. And you are good. Because this is the only variant, uh, that's, this is the only option that you can see in Dialux Evo. Say for example, this one, this is a symmetric floodlight. I'll go to the uh, variant. Yeah, okay. Okay, so you might think this is the correct orientation, which is you can say yes. So let's go and rotate it into zero, zero. So you will appreciate it more. There you go. Now in the plan view, it's like this. And on the elevation view, it's also correct. But look at this one. If I change the uh, value, the IMAX value and the C value. So I'll go here. Look at this one. So this is wrong. Again, it's okay. This is wrong again. This is very wrong. So that's why, Mahmoud, you need to really check your the orientation of photometric file, okay? Because this is one of the reasons. Okay, so I hope you learned something today. And if you want to learn more, go and uh, visit udemy.com and check for my other courses and see if you can find something useful to your um, project right now, okay? I have different courses here. And yeah, so I may continue now my um, watching YouTube and uh, Mahmoud, just go and check the photometric file or the eyes file that you receive from your client or from your company. Okay, just, yeah, just check the orientation because it's sometimes wrong. Okay, all right. So see you again on the next video. Mm -hmm.